So while this was a great episode of just Mob, we see it mostly through his brother's eyes. As his brother realizes he now has psychic powers. And of course we have the return of Dimple. Yes, that was so awesome. So we see that it's his frustration, it's his guilt and everything he feels and his response to what he feels about what he's done that causes his brother to get strong and to have power. So we, get, we see him abuse it and use it, become a bit of a bully, a bit of just a fighting back easily with it, which has some really interesting contrast, whereas Mob only goes postal when he's knocked out because he doesn't want to go all crazy. Whereas here, his brother doesn't have those qualms. He didn't experience the kind of things that Mob did. It was also great seeing the psychic kid from the other episode. You trying to help Mob's brother, but I don't think he realizes who it is. He's just trying to tell him, don't use your power, especially when he uses his own power to intimidate Mob's brother. Well, not to do it maliciously, but just to say, don't think you're the best. It's sort of interesting. Of course, we see the um, hooded guy, I think it's from the intro. Oh, and really, really awesome hair. I love how over the top the hair that the other Esper is using in response to being beat and having his hair removed. <laughs> it's like he's totally overcompensating. But yeah, I love this series and I can't wait to see where it goes. What about you guys? What do you think of it overall? <laughs>